Hey everyone, uh, Boston Patriot here um, with a re not a review, but more of a, some advice on uh, converting your AR pistol to a um, rifle legally. <clears throat> now, first of all, uh, this is my AR pistol, um, and I bought it as an AR pistol, and that's the thing you cannot um, take a rifle that you may have purchased and turn it into a pistol, but you can, however, take a pistol and make it into a rifle. Uh, <clears throat> for me, this is an eight and a half inch barrel, and I believe um, a barrel under the length of, uh, I believe it's well, under 16 inches is considered a pistol, I believe. Um, otherwise, anyway, I am well aware this is an AR pistol, and uh, because of the upcoming legislation um, and the bans they're putting um, supposedly on the SBA three brace, um, or the trying to make the pistol um, an SBR. Um, so if they go that route, um, I don't know, somehow this will probably be lost in a boating accident somewhere. But when that happens, I bought my 5.56 five, upper. This is a 16 inch Palmetto State Armory upper um, with Daniel Defense sights, a uh, mil-spec charging handle, and a simple mil-spec mil uh, bow carrier group I had laying around. Um, okay, <clears throat> so first of all, uh, what you want to do prior to your conversion, obviously, is buy your 16-inch 16, 16 upper, and you also would uh, want to get one of these. Um, I happen to get the Magpul buttstock. Um, this is so you can shoulder it as a rifle, um, different from the uh, arm brace for the SBA-3. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is take this, which is my Anderson AR-15 lower um, with the BCM free forward upper um, handguard. Uh, also, like I said, the Geisley charging handle, Embus Pro sights, um, 6R Romeo 5, um, CAC can from CAC Industries, and yeah, so that's it. Um, as far as this gun goes, just wanted to show you what we were working with. I had previously had a sling attached to it and just uh, took it off. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to remove um, <clears throat> my pistol brace. So there's a detent pin. I push this down, pull up on the detent pin, and slide it off, and there is my buffer tube. Okay, from there, I am going to pop out my rear pivot pin and my front pivot pin, okay? I'm gonna take it out. So now all I have is the lower and the buffer tube. Now, what I'm gonna do now is I can take this upper that I bought, okay? I will uh, put the front pivot pin in and hopefully this will go smooth. The back one's a little tight, there we go. The rear pivot pin is in, and now I'm going to take the stock that I have purchased, and I am going to get this in there. Okay, so, all right, there we go. And now, by the way, empty magazines, gun is clear. Okay, and there we go. Now, now that air pistol has become a rifle, okay? But since I still have my lower and um, hasn't been lost yet, that is what I want to keep for my primary home defense round. Um, since the AR-15, most of the rounds that I have for this will probably go through my house, um, probably in and almost through the next door neighbor's house. So that, this is something I don't want to use for home defense. At least where I live. <clears throat> so I'm going to use the three and a blackout, which is uh, definitely a better round in my situation. Um, especially the, the subsonics will hit like a 45. Um, so, anyways, I will take my front and rear pivot pins. Okay, pop those out. Take off my upper. Put it back in the box. I won't ruin it. And I will go ahead. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I want to take this off. 
on right there. Now I will go ahead and put my three and a black belt roller on here. Okay. There goes that. Throw on my pistol brace. And there we go. Now this is a AR pistol. All right, um, and the one important thing you want to do, uh, typically these, um, what is it, the MFT, Mission First Tactical, um, these are some new magazines I bought. I'm going to primarily run these in some, um, some uh, other magazines I have for the, um, some hex mags I have upstairs. I'm going to run that with a 5.56, and then I have some, uh, three and a blackout specific magazines I ordered um, different from these. So that's one thing you want to be careful of if you're going to be um, flip-flopping between calibers. Uh, you definitely want to make sure you keep your magazines <coughs> and ammo separate. Um, the other important thing you want to do is make sure you keep these separate. Putting this on will make you a felon. Having this here, you're okay. Putting this on with this will make you a felon. Putting this on with this is okay. All right. All right, everyone. Um, I hope you like my video. Please subscribe. Also, uh, if you can, I have uh, my PayPal listed in the description if you want to make a little bit of donation. Um, I have a lot more uh, firearms that I'm going to be reviewing um, in the future. Um, doing reviews on products too, such as the 6-Hour Romeo 5, um, the guide to charging handle, um, Iambus Pro sites, that I really love. Um, so anyways, I want to be giving you um, some reviews, you know, even on the Danny Defense sites that I have, the iron sites. Um, there's just a lot of things, uh, and the ammo. Um, so anything that anyone can do will help. Um, nothing's too small and uh, everything will go towards uh, purchasing equipment to do for my reviews. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this. Please like, subscribe, share this video. Um, obviously it's not gonna get much play because it's about firearms. Um, I'm not gonna get monet any money monetized for it. I, I don't care. I'm, I'm primarily doing it to help out everybody in the community that is struggling with the situation of, you know, should I sell my pistol? No, I say no. I would keep your pistol, buy an upper, just in case, and uh, and actually it might allow you to play around with two different calibers or three different calibers or how many different uppers will be compatible um, in, in ca different calibers. So anyways, I uh, hope you all enjoy the video. Um, again, I'm fairly new at this and I'll have more to come in the future. Until then, take care and I hope you have a great day. Bye.